Hello. It has been quite a while. Uh, I've been working a lot, and then I had a day where I was pretty much just zombied. But enough of that, let's get back into it. And, uh, yeah, something pseudo good, but kind of rubbish. And we're going to go in with one of my two Taikong Shenners, Robot Prime. Now, this from what I can gather, is some sort of knockoff of that weird leader class pre the last night Optimus Prime they reviewed. Or was it last night or was it Age of Extinction? Before one of those they showed like this really awful looking leader class figure. This is like a weird knockoff of that. Um, but yeah, it's a very strange, strange creature. Um, you can steal the weapons, which are just straight knockoffs, but oversized. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, great, thanks, that'll be later. Yeah, you can just about squeeze them in, that'll peg in the bottom there, that'll peg in there, you've got to shove, shove the handle in there and try and wriggle it in. But if you push one too far, it'll push the other one out, so nice one, guys. Um, but it doesn't look too bad, does it, really? I mean, apart from the fact that the barrels don't work and it's completely hollow. And the sword is extremely badly painted on one side. But, you know, it's a sword. It does a sorty thing. And you get that. Size comparison. Last night, Voyager Optimus Prime. Premier Edition. So, it's quite a big Voyager. So, you know, that's the size comparison. You go there for now. Uh, no, come out of the way. So, yeah, should we transform this thing? Because um, it's a bit of a shell farmer. So we'll go underneath, and these side pieces just slot into these, so you've got to push them loose. Just push, push, push. And just push them loose. And just flop it there out of the way, that's for now. I'm going to have to bring this up, aren't I? So there. Then you need to split this entire thing. And it tabs in here, and it tabs into itself here, and here. Uh, into here, and it sort of tabs with pegs in there, into here, and on here. So you split that, and then, I'll show this, there's kind of a bit it slots into there, there, and there, and it's on these sliding things and ball joints here, so you then unsab that, and you, once you've got it loose, you slide it out. So you slot there, tab there, and that's just to keep it straight and make sure you've lined everything up. So you get that out there, and you slide this one out to there, and you turn it over. Can you guess how this works? Yeah, because you probably can. Yeah, fold the hip down at the hips, which are probably the tightest joints in the entire transformation. You split this, yeah. Fold that down and it should just about click into place and fold down the crotch plate, bring out the arms, bring out the arms. And just to make life easier before you fold that back, just rotate these around. Rotate these around, get the arm out of the way. I'm not sure how much of this you can actually see. Should have tested this before I started playing around, but whatever. And then slide that in a bit. Slide that in a bit. I just fold those around the back just to hide them out of the way. Straighten the arms out a bit. They're just on ball joints. Well, the elbows, you know what I mean. Fold it back, big, uh, big peg, big hole. Well, not big, but you know what I mean. Peg it into place. And then you have Taikong Shenner's. Robot Prime, in all his shell formery goodness. Uh, stand up. Oh man. And he's got his sword, and he's got his shield, and the shield just goes onto big peg there, into hole there. Uh, I have coated the outside of this in glue so it would uh, hold better into the hole in vehicle mode. Robot mode, not so much, it doesn't really care, but vehicle mode. Um, the shoulders also don't like going against this kibble. I don't know if you're supposed to just have it 
all the way out all the time, but let's just do that for the sake of this review. Now you peg back in, there you go. Kibble just go wherever. And give him the big sword. There you go. That's not bad, right? I mean, I paid, what, £10-ish for this? Which, yeah, is too much. But, um, I need knockoffs, what can I say? I got this in another one, which is possibly worse than this, believe it or not. So, if we just bring out Prime. Ignoring the kibble and stuff, they're roughly the same size. Um, he's a bit stockier, but awful, if I have to say the word. Um, just look at that. Now you see, this has got the incredibly cool slot in the top there for the weapon storage, which is still awesome. Like, just, just so awesome, just in general. But this guy, not to be outdone, does have weapon storage. Just shove it straight back in that hole. There you go. But little things, let me just point out. No, stop falling over. That is just flash, that's extra plastic. See that? Extra plastic, just. Because it's not been cut out of the mold properly. Just. Bleh. It's not a very tidy thing. Um, the paint they've used on the body does not match the shoulders or the legs or the rest of the figure. It's awful. But yeah, um, he's quite funny. He's terrible, but he's quite funny. And yeah, I'm quite worried um, this video is going to cut out on me. So uh, I'm going to have to call it a day there. But I will try and get more reviews done very shortly. So I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!